Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Alright. So, there's a cannon in mm -hmm. the far outpost. Mm -hmm. We gotta find Gold Bob mm -hmm. and General White. Mm -hmm. They're the two guys who can make the cannon work mm -hmm. and make it operational. Mm -hmm. The thing is, they could be anywhere. Uh, excuse me? They could be anywhere. As in, randomized every time you play the game? Oh god, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. But I mean, like, they're not like, you know, oh, they're they're uh, hiding around the far outposts, or, you know, they're they're hanging out. They could be anywhere in the game we have been to so far. Oh, really? Interesting, okay. So everybody, everybody stand up, and take a step backward, and take another step, and keep going, keep going! This is a backtracking episode. Fuck. <laughs> uh, don't worry, it's okay. We do a good amount of backtracking, then we'll do a whole bunch of forward tracking when we go to the moon! It's almost like, like bribing. Yeah, I love that move. <laughs> it's almost like bribing a young child. It's like, hey, it's okay, we'll go to the moon. You just need to, you know, go to your doctor's appointment first, okay? Get your shots and you can have a lollipop. So the first guy on our list is Gold Bob. And Gold Bob is, you know, he had he ran the cannon business, I guess. Then he got stupid rich off of it. Then he kind of stopped working with the business, kind of let it slide. You know, this is the kind of backstory I want in my Mario games. A a bomb that started a cannon business, which is perfect. Probably sold all of his cannons to Bowser, unfortunately. Uh, you know, no, it's, profit, it's, it's just the one cannon off of it, and then uh, peace. So a guy who's that rich, where do you think he'd be? Oh, I think he would be in the slums of Rogueport because when you get rich off of one idea, you kind of accidentally spend all your money thinking you're a millionaire. But coins literally fall from everywhere in this world, so... I mean, well, shit, yeah. I don't, I don't really think that there is much disparity. You know, I think most of the people who live in Rogueport are there just because they want to. It's like, it's nice! I like the smell of garbage and piss every morning! Hey, wait a minute. If coins are literally fall, Because you're right, they are falling from every single crevice of this universe. How is anybody poor? By choice. But who would want to be poor by choice? People want to live a simpler life. I mean, look at Bobbery. He was living in that slum because he was so distraught with grief and guilt. Like, like, I really hope that this place doesn't have, like, a news channel that says, well, if those people didn't want to get hit by all of those hurricanes and bomb bomb blasts, they shouldn't have lived there. Like, th that's such a shitty take. My, my god, Mushroom Kingdom State TV. <laughs> <laughs> New Mush TV. Oh, I don't, I don't listen to them. They're fake news. Every single news report is, uh, you know, has got Princess Peach's uh, portrait in the background, and uh, they start every show by uh, singing the song of loyalty to Princess Peach. Oh, Princess Peach, we love thieves. Up oh, there she goes. Now oh, she's gone. Mario. <laughs> Please, all you Mushroom Kingdomites, stand for the official declaration of loving our fair Princess Peach. And then there's a bunch of toads, hands over their heart. Just looking at the picture of Peach. I pledge allegiance to the Peach. <laughs> oh God. You know, I, I I think Peach would be the type of monarch to sign all of her emails with like the Peach emoji <laughs> or something along those lines. What do they have any uh, really? Uh staunch Bean Bean Kingdom propaganda. <laughs> well, the Bean Bean Kingdom already, like, their currency is so much better than the coins of the Mushroom Kingdom, so they're already living in luxury. Don't tolerate a legume, otherwise you'll be sent to your doom! <laughs> a totalitarian Bean Bean Kingdom. <laughs> oh, yeah, Prince a, Peasley a, actually just helped place. the Mario Brothers because he loves Luigi. Or, Luigi was a big fan, excuse me. And as soon as that Chocola Cola uh, 
IP went big, they just decided, you know what? Sell it. Ship it. Everybody drink it. Hey, what happened to Mario's Tobacco Company? That was a thing? Yeah, the, the fake ads they had in uh, Mario Kart 64. Oh, that's right! Oh! You know, I... I kind of miss the the old... Uh, what, what do I want to say? Before they were edited types of uh, old gameplay, like the tobacco and everything. What do you mean? Well... I guess in a far-off way, I'm saying I like it when, uh... Before things were edited, let's say that. There aren't too so many you're talking examples. about talking about like version 1.0 of Ocarina of Time. Yes, with the with the blood and everything. Yes. Well, like I, I have this. I don't want to say butterfly effect, but I swear I played a version where Ganon's blood was red. Yep, it was version 1.1, the gold cartridge. I maybe I did. So, have uh, by the way, the answer to the mystery. Uh, Yes, a guy who's a guy who's that rich would, of course, be at Pashley Heights. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense, right? This is where all the rich people just go to. I bet they don't pay any fucking taxes up here. Yeah, just schmoozing along, smoking their pipes, enjoying life because they don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> rich people. One percent. Oh, don't put us with the common crowd. With the point oh one percent. But yeah, this guy. Oh. No wonder he's an unhappy rich guy. <laughs> he sold it all. We gotta use the cannon in Far Outpost. You're the guy who can make that happen, so could you make it happen? Please? You know what? I like this. We've seen this guy three times now. And yeah. he's actually useful. Oh, you All have right. a coin? Let's pay up. 100 coins. For a matter of money, just how much would it? Would I pay? Uh, I would pay everything I have. Well, sure. Yep. Every coin. Yeah, really. Yeah, sure. Staggered, actually. Well, I'm not, I'm not a disgusting capitalist pig like you, so money doesn't have as much value to me as it does to you. <laughs> and I mean, all of them, you'll be left in the doldrums. It's okay, I can just sell coops or something. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mario, no! Buy coops! Okay, thanks for the 50 coins, bro. Oh, wait. Uh, two coins is your change. Mario, no! So, that's all our coins gone. You actually did? He yep. did take all of your coins. That's nuts. He took all took all of my coins. So now we okay. can use the cannon. Now, here's the fun scenario. What happens if you only have 64 coins or one coin and you use that option? It's more about the notion. Yes. I, I knew he would give them back. I knew it. But I'm pretty sure... That if, uh, oh, an email. I'm pretty sure if you give 64 coins, he will take that. Then, you know, you've paid 64 coins. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a way to make sure you don't pay anything! RDM issue 6! Rogue Port today! An unknown businessman, age 30, was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of a volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment, and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot sauce, folks! <laughs> Shop Reporter Go! This week we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the XS Express, the Sales Stall! This That's unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money, but perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings. Says the, the, impe the impeccably dressed manager of sales, come one, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers, just show them in the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. This is it, rookies! You've finally made it to the big leagues! 
Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today, we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto! Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. And can you believe it, folks? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Wow, only seven issues. We're for, out of business. For, for seven issues for a digital magazine? I think times must be dire then. Oh, man. We lost our business to Nintendo Power. I hope they stay a powerhouse forever and ever. So, uh, that ink pasta, that's actually a thing. Yeah, it is. And no, nerds, it didn't come from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's been a real thing forever. It came from Cooking Mama. Come on, get it right. <laughs> I have a Cooking Mama game! I just remembered! Me too. Why do I own it? Well, I can tell you why I own it, because it was going out of... <laughs> the company that made it made a boo-boo, so they had to recall all the copies, so of course I had to get one. I, I got Cooking Mama 4 for 3DS. I don't even know what the Switch one is called. It's like Cook Off or something? So, we, we got Gold Bob's thing. Hmm. Now we gotta find General White. And he's hanging around in Petalburg. Uh, oh. I'm glad I found this this uh, warp station, though. It makes no things a lot easier. No kidding. Man. Can you imagine having to run everywhere to try and get to the places you need to be? Without Where warps? is he, though? Uh, is he in one of the the inns? I mean, there there was a bomb here. When we came here in Chapter One, General White was here. Hmm. I'm gonna get Yoshi so I can move around a bit faster. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, calm, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Love look, and peace! Look, look, have you seen a white bomb anywhere? <laughs> He's got me some around here. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh Coops is dead. Have you seen General White anywhere? Hey, yo. How's my boy doing? <laughs> He's pulling his way, you just let me know. I'll take his place in your group like that. Oh, oh! Oh, y really? Yes, yes, please, please, well, here, well, here. T take him back, take him back! Here's your take boy. Him back. Oh man! I bet your attack power is way higher. Turns out it's half. These old oh, bones. Come on. These old bones can still fight. What a fly! <laughs> I, I could just see you. You throw out Coops' dad, and he's just like, "All right, time to fight!" And then immediately he turns into a dry bones. No, D dad, no, dad. Why did you bring him into battle? He's like 84 years old, Mario! What are you doing? How old was he? How old were you when he had you? I was 77! Please! So, no. General White's taking a trip. What? Think about a, a deserted isle to the south. Oh, of course. The island. Um... Alright, 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 no problem. No problem! No problem! He's uh, talking about, okay, out to the south. Okay, yeah, that's Keel Hall Key, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I, I get so, a feel. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, it's a big problem because it's yeah, well, definitely it's, not Kill Hall Key. No, no, it's Kill Hall Key. He, he went there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're sure. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He went I, there, so uh, all we gotta do is just yeah. uh, go right on and uh, down to this hall. You, you have that voice that's uh, slightly panicked and uh, slightly. Well, you know that that's not the actual answer. It's actually something else. What do you mean panicked? I'm not panicked. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you guys doing? All right, uh, Mr. White, Mr. General White Bomb, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is he? That uh, should be around here. Hey, you seen him anywhere? And he left again. This is a fetch quest. Go into an arena or oh, something. Oh my God. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 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 <laughs> Let's go to the Glitz Pit. Let's go to Glitzville. Yeah. Okay. No problem. So okay. Yeah. Sa saying Mr. White just gave me this harebrain scheme. Is there such thing as a Mario Clue game? <laughs> well, there's a Mario Monopoly. There's a Scooby-Doo Clue game. That's interesting. Like Fred did it in the kitchen with the knife! <laughs> <laughs> wow, somebody actually, like, Photoshop different... It, oh, this this looks awful. 
I know there's a Metal Gear Solid risk. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, uh, Mr. Scarlet, uh, Mrs. Peacock is Peach, uh, Mr. Green is obvious, Mr. White is Toad, uh, Colonel Mustard is, uh, Bowser, Professor Plum is Wario, and, uh, your weapons, your methods of murder, are a turtle shell, a fireball, a piranha plant, a thwomp, a b a bomb and a bullet bill. You think about it, that's even more violent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just blow up your, uh, your specific person. Uh, my thought is, it would be a lot funnier if they still had Mr. Body. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dry Bones! There we go! That's how we do it. Or it could be Waluigi, because, you know, he's been... <laughs> he's He's been missing for a while. <laughs> Oh, Waluigi. One day you'll you'll get your own game. I mean, after we're all dead and gone and Nintendo has gone under, maybe eventually you'll get an, your own game. Yeah, he'll get his own game and we're done playing video games and we become real adults. Do you think that's ever going to happen? Nah. No way. Video games are like movies and books. You just stop reading books and watching movies when you reach a certain age. It's like, oh, I've outgrown these video games here. I can't play them anymore. You know, I've wondered that. When we get to, let's say, 70s, 80s, are we still going to be playing games, or are we just going to you know, sit on our front porch and yell at children? Depends on how the games go. Okay, well, at the rate games are going, we're going to have a lot of companies going under within the next three years or so. So, I don't know, maybe we'll finally get rid of these disgusting tactics of... You know, tacking on a, a main IP and being like, oh yeah, that'll sell it. And then we can also, you know, microtransaction the fuck out of it. By the I way, think, the, uh, See, the, I think our tastes will change as we grow older. Oh, definitely. Like, like you're, you're gonna hate Yakuza by the time the 27th game comes out. And... No, 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 quite the opposite. I, that's, you know, uh, <laughs> I, you know I'm, I'm liking the more mature games and stuff like that. I don't mean mature, like, you know, hey, titties. I'm talking, like, mature, <laughs> as in, you know, uh, made made for an, an adult audience. More complex plots, more uh, complicated characters and plot lines, stuff like that. You know, uh, like, uh, when I was, you know, 12 years old. What stuff was I playing? I was playing stuff like Pokemon and Mario and stuff like that. And now that I'm older, I'm kind of moving away from Pokemon because it's kind of... I haven't had a lot of fun the past few games except for Let's Go. And I'm uh, playing more, you know, stuff like stuff like Yakuza and visual novels and stuff like that. You know, I don't play a whole lot of online shooters except for Splatoon 2. So I think as we grow older, our tastes will continue to change. And uh, if games want to stay relevant, they have to reflect those changes in demographics. But they're definitely not, though, because you've seen the the terrible things going on with games recently. And uh, by the way, if you guys yeah, wanna, I don't play those games. If you guys want to buy Avengers, it's on sale, <laughs> like mega sale, because they need to make their money back. Why would I want to buy Avengers? That game's stupid. <laughs> I almost considered it because it's like twenty bucks. It's General White. All right, where is he at now? Oh yeah, he went to uh, he went to the deserted island again. Oh, Jesus Some Christ. huge tree. Oh, these are the types of missions I hate. Ah, uh, yeah, going on a wild goose chase because I bet you anything Ooh. he. Oh, I wait, can get, I, I can get this though. Yeah, hooray! So, what are the odds that uh, Mr. White Bomb is going to end up at the very beginning of our wild goose chase? What do you mean? Like, the place we started is where he's going to end at. Well, we, we gotta get there eventually. I mean, we gotta bring him home to use the cannon. Uh, I'm just thinking, yeah, he's going to end up at Fartown. Or whatever that was called. Well, I don't but, know, I mean... Well, he's, he's not there right now, he's obviously at Bogley Woods, so let's head to Bogley Woods! But as soon as we get to Bogley Woods, he's gonna be like, Oh yeah, he headed back to Rogueport. <laughs> Have a little faith, okay? I've done missions like this before. They always end up... Oh, yeah, it's hilarious. Sonic 06 did this shit. And how many times has Paper Mario subverted your expectations? Um, no, a couple times. Maybe this will be one of those couple of times. Well, here's open. Here's Down open. Down we go. 
Uh, what do you do? I did that. <laughs> that was just I, uh, my eyes messing up. Yeah, I, I saw you realigning. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> no, stop. Ah! Man, he came fast. Yeah, he did. Ah! You know, yeah, right. you know, we were having that discussion about, you know, what games we would like to do and whether they be good games or bad games. I just remember that Yoshi's New Island exists and I still have a vendetta against that piece of crap. Ugh. It is such hot garbage, but you know, it might be good enough hot garbage to show off to the masses. Just Maybe. play Crafted World. I had fun with that. I actually still don't have that. I'm I'm very miffed at myself, but Nintendo games never go down in price ever. Speaking of prices, let's uh, take oh, a... Time for another Amazon price update! Ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever going back to Amazon because they either have, you know, used copies for 125 or brand new copies for $5 million. So, let's do Ooh, I'm, the... I'm gonna uh, get rich then, shit. Yeah. As long as you have the manual, the original box, and it looks semi-decent. Well, damn, how much can I sell it for? Holy crap, what a steal! $40 with one bid and six days left? Yeah, that'll go up. <laughs> that actually looks pretty decent. Let's see. Uh, two days left, $56, one bid on it. That's not too bad. $180 on, uh, <laughs> on Amazon. Jesus! And that, I, I'm assuming that's for a brand new copy? Renewed copy. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know any GameCube game that you look up now? Let, let me look up Wario World. That one jacked up in price. Yeah, 60 bucks for uh, a used good condition. So so if you missed it, uh, of course General White wasn't at Bogley Woods either. He's going someplace dark. Uh, Rogueport Underground? Dark. Oh, the, uh, the, the haunted house. Twilight Town. I forgot that place existed. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Because that's where we got Vivian. That's where we met up with Dupless. Uh, let's see. Let's try F-Zero GX. That jacked up. Hell yeah. $60 for a crappy looking box. Oh, no. There's actually a surprising amount of people who sell just the box, no manual, no game, for like $20. It's insane. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bob bomb, right? He was here until recently. Of course. Told you. Well, now we have no idea where he is. Is he in the inn? He was, not anymore. So, I mean, we have been to basically every single area in the game, mm -hmm. and he's not there. So where to now? He went back home. We might as well tell the mayor that, uh... Called we... it, called it, called let's, it. Well, let, let's go tell the mayor. Maybe he has a better idea of where he might go. Called yeah. Called it. Da. Ah! Called... <laughs> Called it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying that until I'm until I'm right because I'm always right. Except when you're wrong. I can't tell you how many times I've been like blatantly wrong. And you know, every time I am wrong about something, and I've already like posted the video and it's been out for a few hours, I'm always like shit. And I don't even know why I'm like hissy right now, but maybe it's because I made a mistake that was so blatant. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no! Are you gonna die, dude? I- I- I don't know! I might! Oh. My god. I That's died! It. And now we have to redo room. all of that all over again. No we don't! Oh. Still not Four. dead! You are very lucky. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna be okay, though. I just gotta get rid of that, then hurry up and heal after this fight, and then and then I'll be okay. Still can't get that stylish move. 
I'm just not doing it right, I guess, so. Fuck maybe me, it's right? like right as he does the flip in the air, maybe? Yeah, I need to. I need to get a fuck. Yeah, something. I yeah, shroom for. Yeah, here. Now I'm on that shit. You get back into town, Mario, with his, you know, bruised knees and a broken yeah. arm. Where is that white bomb? You know, we haven't used Miss Mouse yet. Well, uh, let's... And we're probably not going to get into a fight until next episode. Until right now. Okay. What perfect timing. Man, it feels good to jump on these things. Love slap! Baby love slap! <laughs> let, me, let me see it. Let me see it. it just left and right. Just slaps that's, the shit out of a plant, I guess. That, that's fantastic. Like, I think Peach can do that in Smash Brothers Ultimate. You just grab a piranha plant and go... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Bad plant. Holy crap, she can see in the fog. The way that they're groaning, though, I think I'm doing it wrong. It looked no, right. We'll worry about it later. Right now, I need to focus on getting there alive. Alive! 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 alive. alive. You did it! Done email! Well, I'm a popular guy today. At a time like this, what could it be? Rockhawk, you! <laughs> Is this the so-called Great Gonzalez? Uh! Well, it's me, your worst nightmare, the new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk! I'm reborn, you coward! My training regimen would blow your mind! I'm on the fast track back to the top, and ain't nobody gonna get in my way! Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises your hammer of shame left on this bod, and I feel the rage again! If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock! Number one, rock hawk. I half expected him to be flat still. That would be fantastic. But, you know, had we been in Europe, he would have been holding up a two. I'm number two. I'm number two. <laughs> So I need to, I need to use your inn, if you don't mind. Can I just sleep in your nice cozy bed? This Hello! Is really nice, this is a really nice inn, by the way. And every time that you rest here... There's always a, a, a little space food treat on the, on the table there. Aw, that's nice. I already got one, though, from last time, so... They're so hospitable. All right, well, uh, we don't know where General White is. Now, oh, God, I'm a clairvoyant. See, it's not just about... <laughs> it's, it's the reveal, too, you know? I mean, him being in the background is a lot better than, you know, just walking into town and he's, like, talking to the mayor, but... I really hate these types of side quests, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna guess that, that's a chance to, like, revisit places before we get to, you know, a big return point, you know, point or of no return maybe here. maybe if you were doing side quests. What are you talking about? I mean, that would have been a good opportunity to, like, solve side quests in the... <laughs> and now he won't wake up. And now he won't wake up. I mean, come wake on. Up. You're all awake 15 seconds ago! Heavy sleeper. He dreams of explosions going off in the background. What are you doing? <laughs> Try to wake him up! Wake the fuck up! Uh, Bobbery. Try blowing it up. Aw, uh. <sighs> oh, that seems like it should have worked. Oh. Seems to be asleep. Wake him up! Are you kidding? He's still asleep. Try again. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. He's still sawing logs. He couldn't be more asleep. 
He's counting sheep! <laughs> he woke! Nah, still asleep. <laughs> Sleeping like a stashed baby! He's not even budging! He's, He's still dead. stored away! <laughs> oh man. It that, that's took fantastic. Half an hour to get here! That mustache! It reminds me of me when I was a young one. <laughs> a young little fizzle in my mother's eyes. Are you Sam Porter Bridges? I've come to deliver something. You're anything but fragile. Finally, let's go get the cannon ready. We've. Uh, 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 yay. The craziness of craziness, it took so goddamn long going around the whole map trying to find this guy. We're out of time! So, next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're for really, really real going to the moon! For real! Oh, good. Thank the Lord. Gonna hide with Vivian in the meantime. <laughs>